Hello everybody, it's Shadow Frank here, and you clicked on my video. So now let me give you a task. Go on to a YouTube new tab and search Minecraft Rename Texture. There might be tons of results or maybe less, but now go on to search Minecraft Rename Model or maybe Minecraft Rename Item Model. There might be a tutorial if you're watching but in the future but when i was making a minecraft rename texture model there are no tutorials to watch so i had to go through a lot of hard work on youtube and try and error to discover the code to the minecraft rename model so let's get started shall we So let's get on with the first part of the video. So this first part is going to be the renaming sword texture. So first you're going to go on a pixel art software. I'm on pixel art, you know, because why not? I prefer this. If you have any other pixel art software, it's okay too. But I'm going to draw my sword right here real quick. Once you're done with your texture, you're gonna click download, download. Okay, so when you're downloading, make sure it's a PNG file. I haven't tested it actually with other file formats, but yeah, just use PNG. Just, you know, why not? And so now you're gonna go down to my description and download that texture pack. So once you downloaded it, go to Assets, Minecraft, and Optify. Now click CIT and go to Sort. And so you're gonna name it netherite underscore sword and go on and save the file okay so now locate to your file explorer and go to the pack a new notepad file so type equals item items equals minecraft and here i enter netherite sword that's because i'm replacing it with with a netherite sword you can change it to whatever you're renaming nbt.display.name equals i pattern starting and this you should change it to what you are naming your sort or whatever and texture equals what.png depending on what you name your texture file so now save this and close so now we're gonna go to minecraft it should work and it worked for me i'm happy with it this it's ugly as hell yeah it works perfectly if it's not working make sure you're using optifine and if you're using optifine and it's not working go to options video settings and go to quality and make sure custom items is on renaming bows let's get started so now come back to your pixel art software and draw the bow textures you should draw crossbow textures if you're making a crossbow but i'm gonna draw a bow texture because i'm making a bow it's much simpler so go on to the bow file and name it bow or this first texture without an arrow so now you're gonna make the second texture which is a pulling texture and you should draw an arrow in it but you know I'm lazy so I'm just gonna do this 0 1 you know what I'm gonna do change the 1 to a 2 and boom you're done with the texturing okay so now we're here in the bow folder so come back to this trusty piece of code we're gonna change it a bit so the first part is the same poop bow just change this to bow poop bow and this part is going to be different so it's going to be texture dot bow standby equals your first texture and basically the same thing you can just copy this it will be in the description if you want it or you might know it so yeah this is the bow let's go test it out okay i'm in minecraft right now and i already made the poop bow so let's see if it's working spawn this guy right here so look at the bow texture it's gonna go 0 1 2 0 1 2 good perfect it's working how we want it shoot this innocent guy 
this way not. So yeah. Different. Bow. Poop bow. Bow. There we go. Two poop bows. It works. Let's get into the third part. Which is more complicated if you think of it. That's complicated. But yeah, the third part is modeled swords, which was the one I was struggling with. But yeah, let's get on with it. Let's go. So obviously I have this sword, but yeah, we're gonna make a new one, just so you know. So you're gonna go to block bench, it'll be in the description. It's actually very very useful. So yeah, go down we'll go download it. Very good. Not sponsored. So go to Java block item, create new model, and just ignore this stuff and confirm. So now I'm gonna make uh just like a normal sword. You can discover these tools yourself. Okay, once you've made your sword, okay, so when you're on paint, you can paint it whatever you want. I'm just gonna make a second poop sword, but first thing you're gonna select both of these in the edit section with the shift click and add group so they're both gonna be in a group now you're gonna create texture you can name it whatever you want but just ignore all of this again create all right so you can now start painting it here we go poop sword go on and File, export, export block slash item model. Alright, so I'm back here in Optifine CIT sort. So you're gonna save it as netherite sort. And it's gonna be a, a JSON file. Okay, so now it's saved. We come back here. So this should be in your sort folder. This complicated piece of thing so you're gonna come back to your netherite sort of properties sorry poo sort but you're going to the trash bit <laughs> all right so this first part is gonna be the same but this you're gonna replace the texture with model all right so it's gonna be model equals netherite sort but change this to JSON. Alright, done. Now I actually forgot to export the texture, so come here, press the save, relocate here to the sort, and you're gonna, just gonna name it whatever you want. Netrite sword. It's gonna be named Netrite sword. Why not? Okay, so come back to your Minecraft, and I'm gonna reload my texture pack. Okay, so wow, this looks kind of cool. <coughs> <clears throat> but this is not what we want. So, no, we're gonna change it. Hold on. Okay, so I did it. It's now a poop sword. Yay, let's go. So, the problem was I saved the block bench file without actually saving the texture first. So make sure you save the texture into your file folder thing first before you save the JSON so you don't make the same mistake I made. There you go. I have now two poop swords. Okay, so I'm back here in Blockbench. I'm gonna create a new bottle and so I'm gonna create a bow texture. Wait, it's why why the hell am I creating a new bow texture? I literally have my bow textures right here all right so since i have these stuff i do not have to make new models but you might have to you know because you don't have these stuff to copy so once you made all of these four files which is bow bow pulling zero bow pulling one and bow pulling two and textured them unlike this you're gonna want to do the same thing you did with the sword which is 
file, export, yeah, save these four files and Optivine CAT both. Just save them all over here. Alright, so back here, once you got these four JSON files, you're gonna want to create JSON files for your crossbow. Make sure you create one for every crossbow model or whatever. So you're gonna go to bow or crossbow.properties. So here you're gonna do poop bow again. And so the model is just the same like this. Copy this in the description. I'm gonna say up onto Minecraft and refresh. And there we go. It works. Let's go. I do not know where these textures came from, but yeah, sure, why not? And bow. There you go. Bow. Poop bow. It's not exactly a poop bow. But yeah. I like it. It's cool. And so if you do not know how to refresh a texture pack, don't ask me in the description. So if you do not know how to reload your Minecraft texture pack, do not ask me in the comments. I'm gonna mention it right here. So just die. Frick you. So just hold your F3 and press T. There we go. It reloads. <laughs> Hello there, it's me again. So thanks for watching my video. And I'm hopefully going to make a part two if you want. Yeah, I'm pro I'll probably make a part two. So thanks for watching and goodbye.